Hey friends and welcome back to the Tozzy channel for a bit of Taeyeon, which is something that we haven't done, frankly, often enough considering how much I love her. If you're one of my patrons, you know that every single week we watch Amazing Saturday and who doesn't love Tango on Amazing Saturday? She's just, she's part of the fam, she's part of our fam, I consider it that way, especially because I'm a shiny fan and I love Key and she and Key siblings siblings. Naturally she has her new song 2X and that is why we are here. Uh, super excited to listen to this. I'm still stuck on INVU, what a song, and so I, I'm fairly certain this is going to be a serve because that's what she does. But we'll find out together. Let's get into it. Gotcha! <laughs> Great melody. So different to one view. <laughs> such good imagery. So obviously I read the translation of the lyrics before watching that and very clear lyrics about a relationship with a narcissist, somebody who is manipulative and uh, shaping her to be his taste, therefore erasing her true identity, including all the little and the big things like a lipstick that I liked I no longer wear because you didn't like it and that's how in love with who I was. Um, tell you what, hitting a bit too close to home for me, who has in fact been in a relationship like that before, um, which was gross. And when you snap out of it, you're like, huh, why did I do that? Which you can see in the moment where she dresses like herself again. She's wearing the um, bomber jacket and the cool skirt or like the great dress with the boots and everything like that, that appears to be more of her kind of getting herself back after being diminished by this person who was actively trying to control her. Uh, the, the setting of everything was really interesting because it looks like uh, an attic or an old house or something where you put discarded things 
old things, things that don't necessarily match, chairs that you no longer use, dollhouses that you no longer use, like everything. Those glass bricks are a remnant of a bygone era where loads of things were built out of glass bricks like that and then have been taken down. So it's a house full of throwaways, a house full of things that have been discarded. And that includes her and whether that's her feeling discarded by him or whether that's representative of her true self and her personality getting discarded for the sake of him. It's interesting that she is sitting amongst a bunch of old, forgotten, used and disposed of stuff. Um, and then the much clearer, very obvious imagery of playing, being sat down in front of the, um, the video and being indoctrinated basically which is what manipulative narcissistic people do they shape your world for you um it's brainwashing just it's pure and simple brainwashing and of course that imagery is something that we see often in film and stuff like that to show that somebody is being brainwashed um and the fact that some of it was upside down as well how it's how it it's it's is wrong. You know that's wrong. That's not how that's meant to be. And therefore this this brainwashing, this relationship is wrong and not how it's meant to be. Um, it's uh, but even in this sort of discarded place, the insidiousness of him sort of always being there and, and fiddling with the space and fiddling with her. So she's sitting on the seat and he's kind of in this window beneath her. Uh, that's awesome imagery for a song about that. And also such an interesting um, melody, like choice musically for lyrics about escaping a narcissistic and therefore emotionally and mentally abusive relationship, that there's something so light about it. I quite like that, that it's not full of venom and it's not angry. There's something light about it because maybe that's representative of her lightness now that she's out of the trap of that relationship, that she's feeling a little freer and getting a little lighter with everything. Maybe that's why also a sparkly skirt and a very light flowy dress once she's out of it, that it is this room to breathe, this freedom, this lightness that comes with it. I think that's really textured and interesting and difficult the fact that we have kind of like scrapbooking type things but it's not aesthetically pleasing there's something off-putting about it we're not going to romanticize this relationship it wasn't good nothing about it was was good um it was all wrong and when we look back at it it looks off uh such a different vibe such a different energy from that ethereal goddess imbu era to something very human and tactile and fallible as that is. I love it. I love Taeyeon. So beautiful, so gifted and really mature as well. It's really funny watching Amazing Saturday and because I like just stay on. She just sort of lives in her own little bubble and in, in my brain. They did an episode where they had people who were of the same zodiac sign. And I've forgotten who was with her. Was it John Somi? Somebody was with her and I was like, same zodiac sign? What? They can't be the same age. And no, they weren't. They were 12 years apart. And I was like, oh yeah, Taeyon's a mature performer. She's been doing this forever. She's one of the OGs and I always love seeing somebody who is technically an older statesman sing a song that matches their age, that is age appropriate, maturity appropriate. That is a song for an adult who has lived life and understands themselves and understands the world. That song matches her and where she's at in life really, really well. I love that. Um, thank you so much, obviously, for um, my wonderful patrons for encouraging me to watch it. I meant to because we support our Taeyeon. Thank you very much. And I'm really glad that we got to watch it together because that was really, really interesting. Let me know what you read into it or what you might have seen in all of those details. There was a very rich music video. There was a lot in there. So if there are any Easter eggs, 
drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. But thank you so much for joining me for some Taeyeon. Kumsanida, I'm setting out, and I will see you soon for more. Annyeong.